at the Tillamook Air Museum. We did then drove all the way out here to Tillamook to visit the Air Museum because a couple of weeks ago I had to drive out here to do my motorcycle licensing and I saw this big old boy, this guppy is what they call these because from the front it looks like a guppy. It's ugly. It is ugly. That's the whole thing. But they had a lot of capacity. So after uh, doing my motorcycle license in this, this parking lot here, Ooh, I wanted to come back because this building is huge. Oh, no guppy entrance. And I am fascinated by old aircraft. And there's also old trains and stuff. So what? <laughs> Yeah, don't even. <laughs> All right, so there's just cool stuff you know like. What they say about people that are obsessed with trains or aircraft, aircrafts, or <laughs> dirigibles, or or maps, or map maps, dirigibles, aircrafts, trains, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's my obsessions right now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. Cool. We'll freaking check this place out. I'm excited. So this is the A70 Corsair II. Has on the side how many camels it killed with 64 bombs, 104 <laughs> rockets. No, I think that's the uh, times it went to Kuwait. This aircraft was flown by Captain Junior Shooter Sanders. 39 missions over enemy territory in Iraq during the first Gulf War. It's pretty crazy. Persian yeah. Gulf War. This place is like scary. It's so big, it's scary. They have a picture in the front of there being eight blimps in here at once. Those blimps must have been huge because this place seems like it could hold a lot of, oh my God. I don't know if that's a real piece of a blimp, but if it is, this is the best day of my life, about to be. If I get to see a real rigid airship or a real blimp, I'm about to be a real happy camper. This is already really cool, like this jet. Pretty sick. This was in Top Gun. Really? Oh, wow. This is the ejection seat that freaking shoots out. It's plexiglass and everything. Wow, yeah, look at the butt on this thing. It's like... It looks like that level in Super Smash Bros. Where you're oh. on top of it. <laughs> There's just little dudes fighting on here. Yeah, knobs and shit. Throttle. Nice. They got a massive jet engine. Oh, they got a helicopter cockpit. They got all these cockpits you can sit in. It is very eerie with the like 1930s, 1940s music playing. I know, I hate that. Just kind of echoing off. Like very eerie. Like the Russians are coming right now. This is like a transporter for getting people, like troops into combat, like yeah. paratroopers. That's crazy, it's big. Yeah. But honestly not compared to like a normal like airline plane, I guess. No, it's very small compared to that actually. Yeah, it could look fat. Yeah. An air raid shelter. It's just illuminated. Oh, shelter. Creepy in here. Hitler will send no warning. Always carry your gas mask. This is an old man activity. Checking out the Nazi warships. This is so demented. I mean, it's important to capture history for what it was. It's just like, so scary to think that any of this actually happened. This is a plane that crashed on the Oregon coast during World War II. This is some of the remnants. This is like photos of the... That's crazy. A tree growing through the wing, so they must not have found it till later. Hmm. Come sit next to me, be my co pilot. Now I'm driving the bus. Get it, Kramer? It's crazy. This is what a plane would look like in the I 70s. Think it's way bigger. Yeah. If you want a plane now, it's like only like 30 seats. It feels nicer. And the bathroom's way smaller, too. It feels nicer. I hope the camera is picking up how massive this building is. Look, this is like a regular size little shack. This is like a used car lot, regular size building. During the Cold War years of 1957 to 1979. 
sitting atop the panoramic peaks of Mount Hilo, and more than 3,000 feet in elevation, the station was the radio waves space. I love how there's all this like museum stuff and then just people's personal RV trailers and helicopter stores. It's pretty funny. But we've got this. Looks like a blimp to me, but is it a real blimp? blimp. Oh, it's like some half ass blimp. Though. What do you mean? This is like a 30% scale. So like that picture you saw of there being eight of them in here, it filled up pretty much the entire uh, like China, area. Real ones, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know if those were blimps or rigid airships, but this is uh yeah, this is definitely a blimp. You could see where it's hanging up over there. One person blimp. Two person. Two person blimp, sorry. Mm -hmm. Dang, I was so excited to see the rigid airship or blimp. Well it's not too late, there could be one. There's not even like a cockpit of one. Come on. It's like the closest we get. That one's still cool. It's really cool, but it's just definitely not scratching my blimp itch, you know, mm -hmm. my rigid airship, my dirigible itch. I have a dirigible itch. Look at this. They've got this cool. So that's the Goodyear blimp that still exists. 190 feet. That's the Hindenburg all the way up there. And then it says the ZBG3W is the largest non-rigid blimp ever built. And the K-Class was the kind that was built here. The K-Class blimp were the ones that were built here. So if they fit eight of those, imagine how big the Hindenburg was. These are really cool. I love these pin, uh, these engines. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Seven opposing cylinders. Like so it's like a, it's almost like a motorcycle engine with the two opposing cylinders, the air-cooled engines, except there's seven with a crankshaft in the middle that kind of... It's cool. The Tempest Fugit. Fugit. That was cool. That thing is crazy. It's like a little micro jet almost. Whoa, helium room. Wait. Purchased. What? While flying his newly purchased Rutten Long Easy on October 12th, 1997, John Denver crashed into Monterey Bay and was killed. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Me neither little prototype helicopter thing awesome personal sky mobiles oh no it looks like we got a road map of where we got to visit to continue Ooh. this search for a blimp because they so for building mini blimps in here they didn't have one well most of them are destroyed they're mostly in california and then new jersey well that's just the blimp bases and there's not a lot of blimps left. I mean, if they don't have one in a blimp factory, where do we find one? I have never actually looked up online where to find one, but I, I don't know. Jord, we found the blimp. Me and, me and this guy, we found the blimp. It's the Hindenburg. Yikes. The Hindenburg. <laughs> <laughs> Even well, they have a gun. Oh, uh, this one's sketchy. This one got torn off of the blimp itself from high winds. Just from wind. Yeah. This is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see like a cabin yeah, of a blimp. That's what I wanted to see. These are bombs. Donated by Basil Edmonds. Basil, what are you doing with bombs? They still did that in World War II. It's not going to fly away, I promise. Look at the outside of this freaking hangar. I like how the museum was only half the hangar. That stinks. Not a single blimp. What What was your overall opinion of the Tillamook Air Museum? Cool. That's cool. The Gabussy? Gabussy. And into the Gabussy. George, stand next to the door for scale. Oh, across the lines. I said, do not. There's a door for scale. There's a door for scale. <laughs> a regular sized door. Massive. All right, let's go in the Gussy. Yeah, we're going in the goosey. The goosey. Pre weight gain. Guppy. Pre weight gain? It's really let itself go. Here's a photo of the front of the guppy. Can put on the guppy. Big fat guppy. Big fat guppy. Why are they doing this? I don't know. Mini guppy to the rescue. Apparently, this is a small guppy, I think. Wow. 
We went from the gussy to the cockpit. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning so much. She's scared of the aluminum because it bends so much when you walk on it. Okay, so that was the Tillamook Air Museum, Naval Air Museum. Really sad they didn't have any uh, rigid airships or any blimps. Very disappointed. They shouldn't have had pictures of them. It's kind of false advertising. Well, no, there was a blimp. Okay, technically they had a blimp. Uh, not, uh, if they even had the cabin section of a blimp, I would have been happy. Anyway, now we're going to Pacific City to check out their new skate park. So hopefully that's fun. Hopefully we can get some skate footage there at the new skate park to make up for, if, if that place sucks, I'm canceling Oregon. We made it to the future playground. Just kidding. We made it to the Pacific City skate park. The new skate park they put here at the coast. The ocean is just right there. It's kind of overcast today, but at least it's not raining. Ooh, they got a wave. That's how wicked. It's a wicked wave. Yeah, you gotta do the mad dash. It's apparently they close at seven, which is stupid, but. Look, there's a fucking huge bird terrorizing the surfers. There's a bunch of birds out there. You no, that big the one. It's a stork for it's sure. Not a stork is a Or it's a, a pelican. Bird. Oh yeah, pelican. Oh, that's so funny because pelican brewery is right there. Whoa, you just hit the water. I know. There's a bunch of them landed over there. Are those there. all pelicans right there? I think so. Look oh, they are. Faces. Look at their faces. Obviously, you can't tell on the GoPro or maybe even see the birds at all. All right, I put it on the different lens, but those are all pelicans out there. Which is really cool. You thought they were seagulls? No way. Those are giant ass pelicans. They're way bigger than seagulls. Yeah, I guess that's it. That's a seagull. And all these massive ones that look like pterodactyls. Oh yeah, look at them looking down. They're all looking at the water. Yeah. The town of Tillamook. Or Pacific City. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot where we're at. The Pacific City is so freaking pretty. We didn't have much time at the skate park. We left to go get food and there's like four restaurants here. <laughs> and we've been to Pelican Brewing, it's not great. There's a long wait. It's just kind of like bar food of over what I want to pay prices. And uh, so we went to another restaurant and it was an hour wait. So I guess that's what you get in, uh, in a kind of touristy town this time of year. Stopped by the Tillamook Skate Park and uh, had the food. Nothing says rural organ like bullet holes all over <laughs> the porta body. I kinda wanna get out of here. Dang, George. It's pretty cool. Why did we go all the way to Pacific City when there was this in Tillamook? Yeah. The place where we were going to the air museum. This is way sicker. This looks a little steep. It's not bad. <laughs> Damn 360? Yeah. Hit the 360. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Damn! It goes to hit. Oh, he gets it! What's up? With the knife! 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 